In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can use the Assets menu in Affinity Designer to store design assets so that you have easy access to them anytime you want to use them. So to accomplish this, we're going to use the Assets menu, which is located in the Window menu up here. So I'll click on Window and I will go down to where it says Assets. And in this menu, you'll notice we have these categories drop down. Now by default, we have the default category chosen and there's nothing in here. But if I come down here to where it says simply flat icons, you can see we have a bunch of design assets already stored in here by default. And if I ever want to use any of these assets, I can just click and drag it onto the canvas. And now I have access to that design asset there. And this is a true vector just to demonstrate. So let me get rid of this. Now let's say you want to create your own assets to add in here. Well, to do that, you'll first want to create a new category. So I'm going to create a new category for these trees, these vector trees that I'm going to save. I'm going to come up here to the menu icon and I'm going to click create new category. And this category I'm going to name nature assets. I'll click OK. And now within the nature assets category, we have these subcategories. So the first subcategory is assets. If you want to add a new subcategory, just click on the menu icon and look for where it says create subcategory. Now I'm going to leave this as it is for now. I'm just going to change the name of this existing category. So I'm going to click on the menu icon located next to this one and I'm going to select rename and I'm going to rename this one to trees. So I'm going to create a different subcategory for every type of nature asset I would have in here. So this is where the trees would go and I would make another one for leaves and mountains and so on and so forth. So now I'm going to add my design assets. I'm going to click on one of them and then I'll come up here to the menu icon and I'll select add from selection. And just like that, I have added that asset into the assets menu and I can use this anytime that I want. And now this will be saved within the software. So anytime I open a new document and work with it, I can use those assets in this menu without having to go through the folders and file systems to locate it. So let me add all of these now. I'm going to select all of these tree assets all at once. And now I can add all of them into my assets menu by clicking on the menu again and going to add from selection. And now I have all of my vector trees saved in that assets menu. Now, if you ever want to get rid of one of them, you can just right click it and go to delete asset. Click OK. And you could also delete the subcategories too. So if I click on this menu icon, I can go to delete to delete the subcategory. And then I can also delete the main category. So uh, this is titled nature assets. I can select this and I can go down to delete category. And there we go. Now we're back to where we started. So that's how you can use the assets menu in Affinity Designer. If you found this lesson useful, then consider checking out my Affinity Designer Masterclass. It's a collection of over 60 videos where I go over all of the tools and features in Affinity Designer, and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. Kind of like how I did in this video. We even have a private community where you can ask questions and get help from me anytime you want. And best of all, there's no monthly membership fees. You just pay $17 one time and you're in for life. I'll have some information about that down below if you want to check that out. As always, thanks for watching.